Okay, um, I'm Ken, Super Beast Wars, out of Jersey. Um, I'm sure lots of you guys probably know me, girls still. Um, <laughs> a couple years ago, I bought Lethal Chop. I saw it at the Lebanon Nationals in Pennsylvania in, I believe it was 1992, and said someday I'm gonna own that van. Um, lost the opportunity once to buy it, because I didn't realize that the Canadian conversion was a lot different than what it was in American, but that's a whole nother story. Um, a few years back, I started to build an early Dodge with the same kind of chop. Um, what makes the chop on this van unique is that the roof is whole. It hasn't been cut, it hasn't been sectioned. It's the complete whole entire factory roof. Everything else was pulled in after it was angled. Um, it's got about 14 inches out of the windshield, uh, which is basically half of what the factory windshield was. Uh, it's got the original 302 in it. It's got a little bit of work done to it, so it sounds good and it really likes the highways. Um, unfortunately, as you see my height, highways and driving doesn't last very long. My wife Debbie, she fits in it really well and she likes to drive it, but anything over two hours and you kind of get like you've had a couple bottles of tequila after that, so. But um, we, we got lucky that when uh, we missed out on buying it the first time that the gentleman that did buy it, he bought it from his neighbor who was the builder that actually had it chopped. Um, it was originally owned by two brothers. Uh, Van was always out of Canada. Uh, up until we owned it, it's never been in the United States other than to van runs. Um, trying to give you as much background as, as I can remember at, at the moment. Um, it was originally a Sears Service Star van out of Canada. Um, the one brother customized it, did the running boards, the front end the way it is. Um, the fender flares was red. Uh, originally it was white with a Bob Seeger theme. At one point it had some murals to that effect, which I'm still searching for some photos of that. Um, then the, the, the oldest brother had it chopped. Um, and at one point, still not exactly sure when, it was labeled bad cut because apparently the roof didn't come out as good as it was supposed to. Uh, it still looked really cool to me, but you know, that's how it is. Um, then it was sold to a guy named Brent out of Canada and he had the, the roof fixed, everything else fixed. He had the interior finished, had the pinstriping put on and renamed it Lethal Chop. Um, as you can see by the license plate, I stuck with the original name. Um, we bought it to have some fun with and that we have. We've already won some good awards with it. Um, other than that, I mean, you're looking at what it is, so it, it's hard to not love it. Um, we'll open her up and we'll show you the interior. Uh, a little bit of the engine, it's not hard to see, but, or it's a little hard to see, but there's some nice windows in the doghouse that makes it easier for everybody. So I'm gonna open the hood. There's not a whole lot to see. It's a mid Ford. There's not much under there. But I have already added some chrome. The vacuum booster went bad, so I bought a nice polished stainless, and of course to go with it, you can't have too much chrome, so I added the chrome master cylinder. Unfortunately, I had to cut the original factory brake lines because the fittings wouldn't work, which I hated to do, but it is what it is. Um, doesn't take much to keep your battery in place with that much you know, clearance up there, so a little block of wood does just fine. Um, factory radiator, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. Little Uga horn that I'm not even sure if it works. Um, the headlight assemblies, I believe, are from a Monte Carlo. These, I believe, were Vega, but with different lenses. Um, it also has Chevy marker lights in it. I think at the t at, during that era, I think, think were popular. Um, it has Chevy Vega taillights. A little bit of chrome and gold. The original builder, I guess, liked the gold 
aspects of it. Um, one thing that's still a mystery is, I don't know if you can really see it or not, but the roof is actually a burgundy color. Um, and I still don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if that was one of the colors or maybe when it was went from bad cut to lethal chop, the person that fixed it, that was the color they had. I don't know. Um, this is the door on the passenger side. Um, again, the windows in, in the engine compartment. Um, I think the reason why that was actually done originally is because in order to get the doghouse off, you got to take the seats out. The seats are actually bolted to the floor. So, you know, if, if you're under, I'd say six foot 10, six foot eight, you could probably drive this van without too much effort. Um, unfortunately, being six foot, it's your your vision is right at the top edge of the windshield. So you got to kind of duck down a little bit. Um, but again, having the floors, uh, the seats bolted right to the floor, um, surprisingly gives you pretty good vision if you're in that height and also gives you actually plenty of leg room. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised. It's got a Cadillac tilt steering, tilt um, telescopic steering column, uh, which is nice. I'm not, not a big fan of the steering wheel, but that'll be changed eventually. Um, CB in it, you know, all the normal things from back in the day and a newer stereo in it. Okay, this is our midsection. Um, an award I won at the Nationals this year and a plaque that a friend made up um, with my name and, and a picture on it of the new owners. And unfortunately with that cabinet there, that's the reason why I can't recline the seat a little more and drive it a little better, but Everything from what we can tell was originally all done. The chop, I, from what I remember, was done in about 1992. I think the interior was finally finished around 94-ish, something like that. So it, it's been done for quite some time. Yeah, sunroof in the back. Still works, doesn't leak. People talk about leaky sunroofs. It, and that was in there before it was chopped, so. That's been in there a long time and it doesn't even drip. Yeah, the bumpers are custom and I customized the roll pan on the bottom when I dropped it off my trailer a few weeks back. That was an oops. And uh, again, it's metal, so we'll fix it. Again, the, the Vega taillights, some gold trim, blue dots. It's got a nice Frenched in power antenna that has a mind of its own. It comes and goes as it likes, but we don't listen to the radio anymore anyway, so. But, you know, for a van that was built when it was, it's still in good shape. Needs some TLC. That's actually a Barracuda uh, gas cap on there. Some people always say they're the Charger, but the Charger ones actually said fuel on them. Where from the 60s, the Barracudas all had that on there. I only know that because I'm really a Dodge guy at heart. <laughs> and I had about six of those cars. 